Mitrovic banned for the rest of the season. Renard returns for Renard and Switzerland to host the women's Euros. This is up to Sports Daily. Frustrations felt by Fulham as striker Alexander Mitrovic has been handed an eight match ban after he pushed referee Chris Kavanagh in their FA Cup loss to Manchester United. The Serbian player received the ban for what was labelled as violent conduct on the pitch and insulting and threatening language, along with a fine of £75,000. In an extremely tense game, Fulham manager Marco Silva will also be joining his number nine with a two-match ban. The manager allegedly threw a water bottle at the assistant ref and was also charged for comments he made in the press conference. It's magnifique news for the French as Wendy Renard has returned to the France women's national team under new coach Herve Renard, as he named her as captain in their upcoming friendlies. The 32-year-old Lyon defender stepped away from Le Bleu in February alongside others Kadiviatu Diani and Marie Antoinette Katoto, who had all commented on issues within the system as their reason for stepping away, hinting at leadership. The appointment of Herve Renard has led to the return of the other Renard, a crucial player for the French side who will hopefully inspire Diani and Katoto to do the same, as the French manager will look to have a full-strength squad down under in just a few months. Switzerland will host the Women's European Championships in 2025. After a record-breaking and unforgettable 2022 tournament hosted and won by England, UEFA have selected Switzerland as their next host over bids from France, Poland and a joint Nordic bid from Denmark, Sweden, Finland and Norway. The last time the nations hosted a football tournament, it was for the men's Euros in 2008 alongside their neighbours Austria. Though the Swiss women's national team failed to make it out of their group in the 2022 tournament, hosting the Euros will give Lanati, who have a FIFA ranking of 20, automatic qualification. The Swiss Football Association's Dominique Blanc has commented that this is a historic day for Switzerland, the SFA and women's football, and a major step in the development of women's football in the country. For more news, highlights and clips like these on Up to Sport, make sure to like and subscribe.